the only one that I'm not sure on. This is ancient Rome. These are their summative arguments for Roman culture or science and technology. Um, everything else I have kind of gone through mm -hmm. graded and sorted. Can we look at this one and sure. figure out? You can tell by the highlighting that there's just a lot of copying from the text. Um, okay. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, lots so of that's, examples. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll turn it your way first and yeah. let's see if we can. Writing hasn't gotten much better than where we were at the beginning of the year, right. unfortunately. I feel like she needed a little more of like breaking it apart with the explained evidence. And has she been with you for claim and counterclaim? So do you think she's just trying be, to push herself? I don't know. Or her, I think her writing should have been higher than what it is. I wondered if this was more of a situational kind of like rushing it mm -hmm. or didn't do the prep work ahead of time because this this built up like these were yeah. four days of analyzing the sources and analyzing the images and walking through the questions and then this was the writing that was like three days later so I wondered if it wasn't prepared and so that was kind well, of I'm almost thinking from. like do we put her back into a a my room at a room just for a solid check. I think so. And then send her to you next time we do this, yeah. something like this. I think so. Um, I'm just gonna glance through it. Cause her evidence, I mean, she's copying quotes that literally take up the entire page. Correct. And did she- select evidence. It's yeah. So she just went through and wrote out a whole page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not about different she, evidence sources. Mm -hmm. She just, mm -hmm. okay. And I think between my room or Adam, we need to be aware that this is a new thing that she's been doing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, it's like uh, evidence word vomit. Yes. And so when, you know, between my room or your room, whoever room we organize her into, <laughs> we need to be, hey, when you write one sentence of evidence, stop there, yeah. let us check. Yeah. Because, and then we can, I mean, obviously use this example because it starts off like making sense yeah. and then whoa oh. and then we just copy the entire text out wow. paper. yeah wow you have a lot of text evidence yes a lot oh, is yeah. not always great other than this one yes. um it was pretty straightforward with where kids are we have our incompletes which i would like to take again because i think it comes from not knowing the content strong enough oh okay. versus that one surprises, that surprises me. me that surprised me too um, so I think that was, there was a lot of stuff going on that week with yep. her. Okay. Um, so I think I'll take these two so that we can get a stronger content understanding because okay. their writing I don't think is an issue. That's fair. And then you'll take uh, Mrs. McBride too. Yes, I Right. Okay. And then these are our beginnings. Oh. Makes sense. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there is a crew in this one that is like, the requirement was three sources. So uh, like if you're not hitting three sources, at some point it does kind of drop down because this yeah. was a multi-day. Yeah. Um, so some of them like this is on par with what we expect from their argument writing. You're right. Um, but yeah. in terms of what the requirement of the assessment was, it's a little different. So this to me looks exactly like what they give us when it's not a three day or Correct. not expecting when it's a one day. Yeah, it looks, like a, it looks like a skills writing it piece. It looks like a skills writing piece the versus. The structure's good. Mm -hmm. The structure is very, I mean, yes. they, they highlight it, it looks yeah. great. <laughs> the yeah. structure's good. Um, you know, this is, this more has to do with, I almost debate putting her in with that pot. Yeah, yeah, I do I because so of where she falls. Um, what other do we this have one here? I would like to take into that pile as well. Yes, I do. I, I agree with that. So this is a, Mm. I don't think that's, she belongs. That's surprising me. Yeah. I don't think this one belongs in this pile because if you look here, that makes sense. This makes right. sense. This group, group makes sense. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Based on what they have grown in this year. Yes. With they've, their writing. They've grown a long way. And I feel like if we tell them, if we re explain the assignment, mm -hmm. they'll be able to, they'll be like, oh. Well, I even think of adding when they go in to do it, literally having them write another version of another reason I think, mm -hmm. and then just like that should prompt. This is the group that, that follows this chart to a T. They do. And because it didn't say evidence Twice. and repeat the evidence. Right. Um, yeah, that's why this group ended up the way it yeah. is. So, okay, so here's a, here's a group that I could pull. Yeah. Okay. 
Do you have kiddos that didn't take it like Zyri? Um, a couple. I will go in there and change them. Okay. This is our approaching group. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna move our, I'm gonna move this group with, that's gonna be me. Yep. So the approaching group, what, it look, it, this looks similar to the group that we just got done looking at. Yeah. Yay! I know. Yay! <laughs> it's hard to read, but. It is, yeah. but yay! <laughs> I'm excited for that one. Um, the biggest thing, keeping them from moving up. So they explained it more. Okay. Than their, like they explained their evidence a little bit more strongly than their counterparts. Mm -hmm. Do you feel comfortable adding her in yeah. this mix? Yes. Honestly, she should. Be higher. She should be higher. Okay, Why? I would, I would not wait hold her full off on her then. Yeah. Is it just specifically only has the one source or one evidence source? And the explanation of it, okay. her her green section explaining her evidence wasn't as strong. Like she is in my counterclaim group. She is yeah. in my advanced writing group. She didn't analyze yeah. it. It's not it's not what you expect from her. This is, this is, this kind of feels like a response to the pile that I just gave you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she can, she can give much more. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Adam, how do you feel taking a group on like this? Yeah, I, think good I, about this? I can definitely work okay. with that group on building more evidence sources mm -hmm. and explaining it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the big one I was explaining. And that's always going to be our big one. Yes. Yeah. Find yes. good evidence and explain it. Yes. And if it connects back to their original mm -hmm. claim introduction yes. Mm -hmm. yes and they have five different i think it's about five different sources at least that they can pick from on their social studies textbook that they can use as evidence okay and we talked about the sentence starters in the image it shows versus just in the text it says um, awesome. so they have a lot that they yeah. can they can go through and each group has at least two that were modeled with me okay cool so so they have their stuff they should yes so you're gonna go, you're gonna take those kids. So you've got the beginning group. I've got the yes. approaching group. Oh, this this group. And my approaching positions they're just just about. Yay! Just about there. I know. <laughs> Sorry, that makes me so happy. So there's some big um, celebrations in this group. Um, because they're getting very close. Yeah, they're getting very close. Wow. What I would like to see from them to get that profic proficient is another piece of explanation and explaining yeah. it. So because maybe, their analysis is good. So maybe something with the, the chart mm -hmm. would be... Put a loop in there? Yeah, like a... Like, I wondered that, yeah. Like literally adding on our anchor chart and looping here. Like having those repeat. Yeah. Little arrows. For multiple... So so, multiple really like functions as like yeah. this paragraph. Okay, next. Yeah. Yeah, I like that revision. We should make that on our anchor charts. Because that's what this group needs. Yeah. Um, who would like to take this crew? This group with this group would be very similar, right? Yeah, it would be. Then be very I, similar. I can take them. Okay. So that's your skills. That's basically your skills oh, group. Yeah. Sweet. Um, here's our proficiency. This pile is big. Makes me happy. Nice. Oh, nice. oh this one? Yeah. This group? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, nice job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sorry, I was like, I looked at a couple. Oh, sorry, it's not as big as I thought because. Hey, this is great. This is awesome. Movies. This is this great time to celebrate her too because she was mm -hmm. in a beginning pile at from the beginning of the year. I know. There's it. There are like five kids in here. Yes. That I'm like, wow. We her are too. Really, yep. Her her explanate her oh, growth and explanation three. has has done a great job. Yeah. Um, okay, I feel like mm, this group, I feel like, can either, we can let them stay where they are for this one mm -hmm. and let them practice what they're doing because what they're doing is good and we want to solidify that. Mm -hmm. Or I can pull them if you think they're ready for that like level one counterclaim, that introduction of it. Mm -hmm. Part of me thinks that with where we are, I would like them to just keep working on like really solidify this yeah i almost debate they come with me so i can mm -hmm. almost do a partner response oh, with awesome. my lowers yeah. so they kind of work together with because yeah. if you look at the other pile that you ones. gave me yeah. there's i mean 
I can easily pair them up with people that they're comfortable with. Like these two could be partners and work on oh, work on something absolutely. together. And then so this guy could go with yep. these two these two could be partners on on something. Mm -hmm. Um let's see. <laughs> then we get a little bit tricky, but I mean I we could I would almost do that. Those yeah. These two? Well, yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's your last one over there? Nevaeh. Dante's pretty good at working. Yeah, with or I would do. I, I You could do something like this too. Yeah. yeah. But basically, I what I could do is I could give them. They could work together. On they could work on together project. on something that I prep. Yeah. And so they have a strong peer. Yep. But then, I could assign them like. Hey, Kentoria, you got to write the introduction. Mm -hmm. And then Sanila needs to write, it's like what they need to grow in. I yeah. strategically tell them what they're writing. Mm -hmm. So we could cool. do like, my room will be like partner room oh, that's awesome. next week. You could also have the stronger person peer review it like we were doing mm -hmm. at the beginning of the yeah. year. Mm -hmm. And tell them, oh, they could peer, peer review. We could start by peer reviewing each other's. Mm -hmm. Like, I think Sanila would be comfortable giving Kentoria, like, this is what I see compared yeah. to mine. Yeah. Um, so, and then I'll just do a little mini lesson on being open to feedback mm -hmm. and growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, because I do feel like that's, then this is, my my skills is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. Good, great, great direction. And, that yeah. you with <laughs> the and then your pile. <laughs> and then my pile. Um, so here are our proficient advanced. They're just shy of hitting that advanced. And it is either for a not very strong explaining their evidence, like they have good quotes, but they're not explaining their thinking all the way. Um, or they're just needing to be introduced to that counterclaim. Like, so this one here just doesn't know what a counterclaim is yet. And she came so in halfway through the year. Right, right. So, so this one would be like a counterclaim group. Like, okay, okay let's talk about what that is. Um, do you think you could do something similar to me yeah. with your solid advanced kits? I think so. Because then this is this is my pile of advanced kits. <laughs> yeah. So none of your surprises, I don't think. That's a good surprise. That's one. great. That's yeah. a surprise. I actually really like, too, his process of highlighting because it's way easier to read. Yeah. Maybe so think of like that for next year. Yeah. For sure. And then, oh my god, these ones are, I think, mostly just ones you would expect as we Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So I wonder about those ones that need counterclaim for the first time mm -hmm. paired up with those who don't. So, like, these two together. Yeah. Yeah. Introducing first counterclaim yeah, the, the, and then actually yeah. getting counterclaim yeah. because this one has a full paragraph here. <clears throat> um, and then some of these that are just in between, I know have been, these four, have been taught counterclaim and they just didn't explain their evidence as thoroughly as yeah. we would have hoped, which can, I can have that conversation with them and be like, Hey, what do you like? Tell me more about this. Yeah. Or even giving them the sentence starter prompt usually right. helps. Like, what does that prove? Why does that matter? How does that connect? Well, I feel like your room is going to be very similar to mine. Just, mm -hmm. it's just in a different way. Yeah. And I feel like you not have enough to, I mean, even if they're partnered up with an advance and advanced. Well, and I can look back at their counterclaims and pair them up with the ones who are at like what I call like the level one where yeah. you just say it versus the explaining, like some might say this, but mm -hmm. that is not as strong of evidence because okay. of giving me reasons versus my kiddos who are just giving me like one sentence. Yeah. So we can pair those up and get our level ones to level twos. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. Awesome. We got stuff where then our rooms are set rooms. for next week. Yep. Sweet. Our rooms and our focuses and um yeah. Are we pulling them first to talk about the right the grade and what they have? Feedback? feedback? Do you want a day yeah. of feedback? Um, they haven't seen these yet. They are posted in Infinite Campus, so we can let them look over them and spend a, a little bit. I don't know if we necessarily need to hit all of them. Like some of those advanced don't necessarily need that feedback. 
Okay. Um, but some of the ones that are kind of concerning, we can do feedback on. Yeah, that's mainly yeah. my pile too. I think you and I should give feedback. Okay. I think you and I should spend a day of feedback. And if our skills groups last a week, two weeks, mm -hmm. then I, I'm okay with that. Just, I mean, our ki our groups need more feedback Correct. than your groups Correct. right now. So um, I I feel I'm, I'm good with, with slowing our process down a little bit and making sure they do get the one-on-one -on -one because then I feel like they get more buy-in when we put them in a group and when we're right. telling them they're gonna that that's what they need to work on. Yeah. So. So then the names that I'm noticing I didn't see at all. Those kids those you want those to be with you. I'll take those. Um, yeah, and that'll be the group that I pull yeah. most frequently. It'll be the kids that I'll yeah. walk through the sources back with them and we'll talk about what each one means and kind of build theirs, build their summits kind of in chunks. Okay. okay. Then when when they're at a place, you can feel free to add them. Yeah. Shoe them, shoe them off to us and yeah. check where we're at. Yeah, and then shoe, shoe them. Yeah, I figure that group's gonna yeah. be my most intensive and my more than likely they're probably gonna come join me at some point. Oh, but yeah. it's it's it's. Oh. Yeah. Cool. All right. There's our piles. Thank you. There you go. I will finish up the slide for the groups and names. First of all, what were we looking at right now? What in your PLC, what work is this? So this is a social studies summative on ancient Rome. They are using the inquiry model to look at either Roman culture or Roman science and technology. And the Roman culture kids were answering what were the values of ancient Rome using the information and the resources. And the science and technology kids were looking at how did technology help the Roman empire succeed? I noticed based off of what you were saying or like how you were answering that it was around, of course, our writing skills that we were differentiating or creating these subgroups. But can you speak a little bit more about that process? Like what is, how does this PLC bleed into your skills time? Well, with any of our writing pieces, we typically bring all said pieces to our PLC. We discuss, uh, where each student is at based on what we've seen throughout the year. Um, we use the writing chart. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Know. yeah whatever. The writing you rubric. Know, the writing rubric, the uh, making sure kids are coming up with an introduction, claim, reason. They're citing evidence from the source and they're explaining that evidence and coming up with a conclusion mm -hmm. and making sure it's answering the question for what's actually being asked. Um, and we kind of just each take a pile, kind of put them put them where we think they are, and then we discuss it, and that's how we build our, our skills for the the following week. This particular PLC felt like it was, like it seems like your team is more calibrated. Like what you would grade, what Brie would grade as proficient, it looks like Adam, you were right there, and Kayla, you were right there, you agreed upon it. How did you ensure that like your team was calibrated from the beginning of the school year? Well, I just feel like we've had so many conversations around, you know, concrete student work. It's, it definitely is helpful when you have a piece in front of you. Mm -hmm. And as a literacy teacher for writing, I can tell the difference between an approaching and a proficient, but I feel like Adam's, like throughout the fall, you're, you had huge learning in, in what does approaching and proficient look like. Um, so that is just, I mean, kudos to you and your growth. And that's why we're able to have these conversations now because of uh, all the learning that we went through together and the discussions and the sometimes debates, like respectful debates on, no, I actually I think, think a kid's here. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Brie helped me really um, grow in counterclaims. Like in sixth grade, that's not one of our standards, but it definitely helps take our kids to that next level that our proficient kids just hanging out. So I think it was really important for me too. It was right around the time of the first TDA when we mm -hmm. calibrated and graded together and kind of like figured it out because I had no idea what sixth grade expectation was. The rubric for the critical reading and writing is the same whether you're in eighth grade or sixth mm -hmm. grade. And so trying to figure out like, okay, what do we actually expect of our sixth graders and how do we move them through that like color-coded anchor chart? Yeah. 
to get them to where they need to be. Because again, I had no, I'd look at one and be like, this is definitely like beginning level work. And you're like, this is proficient. And I'm like, yeah. oh, sixth grade, yeah. different. Sixth grade. Okay. Sixth grade. Uh -huh. It was really valuable for me to hear also like how you were not only, again, differentiating in the writing and what students need for to enhance or to grow in their writing, but also I heard a little bit of content, right? Mm -hmm. Is it appropriate, do you feel like, for your team to reteach, front load for sometimes that content during skills? And what does that look like? I feel like we're going back to reteaching this next skills time. I mean, mm -hmm. Adam and I spend more time, I feel like, reteaching, um, especially the organization part, the explaining evidence part. Um, and sometimes I feel like you might be doing more front loading, yeah. especially if it's a higher level prompt for our kids who are proficient or advanced. Um, they're doing more, and sometimes Adam and I have to do some front loading just based on our kids that we have that don't have a lot of background knowledge about what they're answering. So, um, but that helps with uh, the forward too, you know, growing their schema. Okay, anything else as far as recommendations for teams next year, especially like the where to start? Get a chart, get a, get a chart get and go, maker chart. <laughs> go off that chart and um, I guess use your resources that Horning has. I used ReadWorks for a lot of our articles and text and prompt questions. Um, sometimes I came to them with prompt questions like what should our prompt be next week? Um, I got to pull on science and social mm -hmm. studies prompts as they fit so that it was cross content area, um, but having a common focus, like coming in the beginning of the year and saying, mm -hmm. during skills, we are mm -hmm. only working on argument writing. That is our focus um, because that really drove all of the conversations that we had mm -hmm. rather than trying to like, oh, this week we're going to do this one and next week we're going to do that one. Could you see yourself now, Adam, like pulling maybe more of like a math prompt or word problem that would be it with the math content as well? Did you I, do that already this year? I think I could, I could do more of it. We we dabbled a little bit as a math team. Um, math was definitely the challenge. And like they said, it was a learning curve for me to start with, but I, I wanted to be a part of it. It was, a, it was there was value in it and it, it gave us purpose in our PLC. It didn't feel like we were just doing something to do it. And we got buy-in from our kids. Mm -hmm. we, we showed the kids why it was important. And their, their writing this year has blossomed because of it. But yeah, I could definitely see myself pulling parts from what we do with our critical reading and writing and what is done in literacy and science social studies for writing and pulling parts of it into my math for future years. I really do feel like it, a lot of weight was lifted off my shoulders this year because I felt a lot of responsibility in the past years for the skills and the organization and kind of like what we're doing during skills and this year was more like of a collaborative mm -hmm. more effort and the buy-in and the intentionality that we had behind it it really made i mean we came with prompts divided up the kids okay so the mm -hmm. kids were already organized for the next week we knew the direction that we were headed the planning the purposeful planning that we had like we did it as a team and all together. So I do feel like a lot of that preparation and planning was so easy.